This morning, we are still waiting word from a judge on if Fulton County District Attorney Fani Willis and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade will be disqualified from the 2020 election interference case. This comes as the attorney who originally filed the motion testified in front of a Georgia Senate committee yesterday. 11 Alive's Ariana Manisa is live for us this morning with more on the testimony from Ashley Merchant. And Aisha, we saw her testify for hours as DA Fonnie Willis once again under the microscope. This is all a part of an investigation that's being led by Georgia legislators. For more than three hours, defense attorney Ashley Merchant sat before the state Senate special committee unpacking allegations of misconduct between DA Fonnie Willis and special prosecutor Nathan Wade. It's the fact that they were sleeping together and he was paying for trips for them to go on and they were hiding it from the taxpayers. Merchant represents Michael Roman, one of the defendants accused of election interference during the 2020 election in pursuing efforts to have Willis and Wade removed from the case. She was subpoenaed by the Senate committee as they investigate D.A. Willis. Was this the, the impropriety, the financial impropriety of getting financial benefit from the job? This is the what I would call undisputed. Merchant presented billing receipts questioning how Wade's invoices were vague and how he was paid more than $650,000 by the county. She also testified as to why she believes the DA should not have been able to hire Wade as special counsel because of the county's policies related to personal relationships and walked through text messages between herself and Wade's former divorce attorney, Terrence Bradley, and receipts from Willis and Wade's vacations. Credit cards are the ones that showed all the Belize trips. And they showed that he was buying the tickets for both himself and Miss Willis. Oh, yes. All documents, she says, proves Willis and Wade began dating back in 2019. While the panel does not have the authority to bring charges against Willis or remove her from the case, Republican Senator Bill Calsert, leading the committee, says their findings could change some of the statutes governing the DA's office. Those are troubling allegations. And so our job here is to try to get to the bottom of this, prove whether or not it happened, and see if it's in violation of Georgia law. But Democrats on the committee say otherwise. We just spent four hours on something we have nothing even to do with, quite frankly. We ought to be talking about issues that actually matter, and we're not doing that right now. And as D.A. Willis continues to deny allegations of misconduct, she says the Senate investigation is a distraction. You can continue on with their games, and I'm going to continue to do the work of the people. Now also happening today, the Fulton County Board of Commissioners Board of Ethics, they're holding a special meeting today at 10 a.m. According to their agenda, they're expected to hear complaints against D.A. Fonnie Willis. Back to you. Ariana, thank you. So if you missed any of yesterday's hearing, you can catch it on demand on the 11 Alive Plus streaming app. It is on the front page. Download the app for free on your Roku, Amazon or Fire TV.